Hello, it's Noir Nerd, and in this video we're going to have a look at Monogatari, which is a visual novel engine I've been working with a bit recently. Uh, we'll download, download it and I'll go through basically some simple um, functionality that you can implement. It's, for what is Monogatari? It's basically a visual uh, novel engine, it's just for creating interactive fiction games. It's web-based. Uh, but I do think that you can um, port it to other platforms as well, from what I understand. But I've not really tried it out yet. Well, it says it's multi-platform, so he says he can build it for Windows, yeah, etc. Um, it's not too hard to get used to. It is probably a bit more code-heavy than some of the other interactive fiction engines, I guess. Maybe something like... Um, um, Tyranno Builder it's, it's, it's more coding than that but I suppose the strength from that is that you can customise it these are some projects people have made of it um, just examples and it is sort of in the traditional what you get is like a traditional game in the format of uh, interactive fiction with the characters, the backgrounds, sound, etc, etc. Huh, a game called Milfy City there. <laughs> Some of these um, are obviously erotic games, I guess. So, yeah. So, one of the good things of this um, engine I found is it's got saving and loading built in automatically, which is quite good. Usually that one would be probably quite a little mission to implement... Uh, from scratch but uh, so this is the sort of thing this is like sort of how it looks uh, I mean this is just the purely the standard generic demo that comes with the game so it's got some particle effects generation as well you got your dialogue here you can modify all this with CSS as well like the particles can be modified with JavaScript and um, sort of interface can be modified with CSS and then you got this this demo is just like a typical manga character in a typical schoolroom background I think that one's also in Tyranno Builder that background blah 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 yeah 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 Bob And then you can just go through. Yeah, it supports animations as well. Anyway, we go on for ages doing this. It's just showing you the different sorts of animations you can implement, basically. So, different. And it's just like the tutorial. Anyway, let's see how we get this thing set up. So yeah, one one thing they do mention actually is that um, uh, you can just run, you can just open the HTML file, the index.html, but they recommend running um, using web server for Chrome, and then just running uh, running that on the directory that you're going to be working in. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. Okay, let's download it. Let's download the source. Where did I put that page? Download it. Download the stable, latest stable version, which is 2.0. Downloaded it. I'm going to copy this. Go into my dev work folder. Create a new one called Mono Demo or something. And I'll just paste this and then just extract all the all of the contents into this folder. You can also um, get this from GitHub I think as well but 
Let's do this way for now. I'll just put this up like this just to make it easier. Get rid of that folder and get rid of that because it's not needed. Okay, so this installed the demo. I'll go to my IDE in a minute, but let's just see what happens when I open this up. So you get a blank page, you get a menu here. So it's like I was just saying before, it's good how you get um, a lot of uh, sort of pre built things. Just put in that, yeah, Chris is my name. So to say no, and this is just the standard. Uh, that just links you to an external site, actually. The one I was just on before. So we go, yeah. Uh, whatever. Let's have a look and see how we can edit this a bit. So I've got some. So. I'll just go over the sort of folder structure, I suppose, and what's in each. Assets is where you hold all your assets for the game. So you've got character, is uh, obviously like the different characters, the different poses they have. So there's nothing in there at the minute. Fonts is different font styles. Gallery is like a feature where um, you can sort of unlock cards, basically. Icons is just as you'd expect. Images, I think, is just for generic images, like maybe for background. Not for background, but for objects on the background. Music's pretty self explanatory. Scenes is the background. Sounds is pretty self explanatory. UI is pretty self explanatory. As is videos and voices. And then engines, I call the core, the. Um, you wouldn't really be touching any of that, to be honest. JavaScript, so this is probably worth looking at now. I'll just open up my ID. I'm going to open this up as a new project. What did I call it? Mono Demo. Um, and I'm using WebStorm, but you can use whatever you want. Visual Studio Code, if you wish. It's a common one that people use. So let's open the demo and just have a look. So we've got in the JavaScript folder and we've got a style folder, which obviously JavaScript is where uh, we're going to have our programming and our. Where you spend most of the time actually editing because most of what you'll be doing here is editing this, which is like the script. The script, well, it's not like the script, it's called the script, but it's where all the dialogue for the game actually takes place. Um, so we've got some different options you can customise here, Not none of which I've really explored a great deal yet. Uh, but most of the time where you're going to be editing anything is in the script.js folder. So just so this makes sense as well, Say if you add an asset in the um, in your folder, like for scene, you also add it here. So if I go and just find an image now, like I don't know, can be anything, just this, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything real at this point. So copy that image. Go to where is it? Go to assets, scenes, paste. I'll just call it scene one instead of that long name. There we go. And then to actually register it, we have to register it in this script. So we do that like this. And there you go. Just a reference to the. I think it's the JPEG, isn't it? Yeah. Now, let's just see if I can refer to this. So we've got a statement here, it says show scene 
and then it had a color before. Now I'm going to change it to scene one and just see if it uh, shows displays on the demo now. So it should show in it background image now. When I there we go. So that's basically how you change the uh, or register an asset, how it display. Um, so that's pretty easy, really. You just yeah, you just say show scene. Then you can add with an optional um, animation uh, as well. So with fade in, it's got there, which is just what was on there before. You could probably do uh, a different one. I'm not exactly sure of the list. I know it uses, it uses animate CSS. So maybe if we can just quickly, I think it's animate does CSS anyway. See what different options there are. So maybe we could do a different one for the. Uh, Instead of fade in, which is quite maybe like you could do fade in left even. Mm. You can even do some bands to like rotate in. So if that's uh, you can modify the animations you use for the. Uh, also remember to whenever you're um, giving these. Uh, sort of instruction commands in case them with uh, these quotation marks and then also the end comma otherwise it's going to break okay you should see a different animation now there you go so we rotated in there instead so yeah so you've got the access to this this animate animate.css is installed as part of uh, Monogatari's engine. So, what if we want to show a character? Now, I've got a asset from before I can use for this because um, ideally you want you want a character image with a transparency. So, we just grab that guy. Okay, so I'll just plunk this this uh, character uh, graphic into here. Just calling it test one. It's a PNG, of course, because you want the transparency in the background. Uh, otherwise, if it's a JPEG, it's going to have it'll be white in the background, even if it's cut out. So that's the reason for that. Just find there we go characters. So I'll call him call this guy uh, you I guess. And we need Yeah, we just remember how to do this and quickly think. There we go. Sorry, I just forgot exactly the way to structure it, but basically, you add a another. Oh, that's the scenes. Add another attribute within the object called sprites. Comma. Then we're just going to add something like that, like normal, just for one for now. Call it test one, and it's just test one PNG. So that's just telling it. Look into the character folder you can also change the color of the name as well when it pops up here this is saying look for the sprite with the name test one it's called test one so whenever I reference to it it'll be called test one so you could do something like where well, I think it pops up already somewhere uh, no I have to do show character Y Okay, so if I do here, 
show character by with normal, I think. No, no, no normal. No, just normal with fade, fade in, comma. And now. I did something on there, just double check something. Ah, uh, probably misspelled character. Oh, oh, yeah, you need to put uh, at center, you need to put the position as well. My bad. Maybe not. I probably misspelled character knowing me. Just copy that and just put it to normal. And it's not A, it's Y. I'll explain what I'm doing here in a second, just while I've typed it out correctly first. So Y is a reference to this. This that's the sort of uh, reference to the character, and then the sort of sprite is test one I left it as test one that's probably why it wasn't shown before uh, for some reason I thought I put it to normal but I just called it test one I'm using short term memory skills there we go and then the character shows in the center fades in so that's how you do that um, okay and then I guess to just cover very briefly uh, you've got a style main CSS so if you want to customize any of the uh, existing styles you can do it in there you can change this text box for example or you can uh, modify it mod modify whatever really modify really whatever you want so So that's this is where you're gonna override styles and modify them basically. And this you'll probably never really touch because it's just already set up to work for you with Monogatari. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that. I'm not exactly sure what else I can go over. There's there's, there's other st stuff you can do with this engine, of course, but I just wanted to give a Sort of quick overview of um, just how to start playing with it at first. It's pretty simple. I mean, really, basically, most of it goes on here. You just, in a sort of linear manner, add these quite basic commands, and it sort of just works out of the box, which is quite nice. It's one of the lesser known interactive fiction engines, so. Uh, I imagine it probably will pick up in a while because it's, it's open source, it's free as well. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that'll do.